So today I'm going to do a video all on my everyday makeup routine because it's been quite a while and you know me, it's very neutral, nothing like crazy or out there and especially right now I'm really having a no makeup makeup moment but I thought I would give you a little tour of what's inside my everyday makeup box. If you want to see what the setup looks like, I've actually done a whole video on it so I'll pop one of those card things up here somewhere but it's going to be very natural, very neutral, very glowy skin, really into the glow at the moment. And yeah, let's get stuck in. So the first thing that I'm gonna use is the By Terry Lip Balm. I've been going on and on about this for years. I'm just gonna stick that on my lips to give them a bit of moisture, a bit of nourishment. I think this is my third tub of it. Um, it's very expensive, so I don't really wanna think about how many that I've gone through. And then I'm gonna prep my skin. And for that, I've been using this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. Really into this. I accidentally applied it as foundation the other day. I kind of just, smushed it on my face and I was like oh this hasn't really got a lot of coverage in it but it did make my skin look really glowy and it definitely has that soft focus effect to the face. For foundation I have been using the same thing for like the last couple of weeks if not months and it is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I actually took this away with me last week and I had the little tube of it, do you remember that, that I picked up in my US haul? It's amazing and my friend was like oh have you got base that I can use, gave it to her and she was like oh my god that is one of the best foundations I have ever used. It just has a really nice like medium-ish amount of coverage but just leaves your skin so glowy. I've actually got it now in light and fair and I just tend to take one kind of pump of each, put it on my face and then blend it in with a beauty blender. I just find that it's the most natural way to apply it. So for concealer I've gone back to an old favourite and it is the Urban Decay Naked Skin one. Again, look at this cute little one. It's one that I picked up from Sephora and it's just adorable and Lily made me buy it and I'm really not mad about it because I just love it. And I just find that this is really good for also sorting out your dark circles but also sorting out any spotty areas and I've actually got quite a lot of redness going on around my brows right now because I've just had them waxed and threaded and all sorts of things so I'm covering up the pinkness that's going on with a bit of this and again I just like to use a beauty blender I just find it's the easiest and quickest way just to pile it on in a very natural way. Before we move on to powder I've realised that there's something that I haven't shown you because obviously in here I've got a few different options for different things depending on how I'm feeling that day and I have got another option for foundation this is the L'Oreal Nude Magique Cushion. I think it's in shade three, but I really, really like this just for every day. And I like to stamp my Zoeva 140 buffer brush in it, literally just stamp it in, put it on my face and be done. So that's a really good option for just every day when I'm not really too bothered how my skin looks. But for powder, I'm gonna use this. This is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade medium. And I just take that on a Bobbi Brown brush lightly dust it all over my face. I'm not hugely into powder, I don't tend to use this every day because I'm filming, I'm on camera, it tends to make you look a little bit greasy. I do just put a little bit on kind of down the centre of my face. So for cheeks I have a few options in here. I have the Clinique Cheek Pop in Melon Pop. This is my blusher of the moment. I was super obsessed with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blusher in the shade, uh, what was the shade? I can't remember. I'll write it here across the screen. I was obsessed with that for years and years and now when I wear it, it's just a bit too much for me, it's a bit full on. So this is like the more toned down, subtle version of that. I think it's great. I really like the lip product as well. I'll show you that in a minute that matches it. I've also got the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Poured in the shade Moonstone. This is so pretty, it's just very nice kind of yellowy based cream highlight. Sometimes I throw that on the tops of my cheeks as well. If I'm feeling like I'm having a bit of a football head day, then I go in with the Kevin Aucoin Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. To me, this is the best. It is the original. No other contours come close to this because I find it's the perfect mix of a taupe with a little bit of grey in, but not too much, just very natural looking. I tend to use this a lot when filming just to chisel it in and add a bit of dimension to my face. But I think today I'm gonna to use this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. You guys will know this. And it's just got the bronzer on one side and then the highlight on the other. And for me, it's just a really good two in one. It's got a great mirror as well, so it's really nice to travel with. I just put a bit of the sculpt shade and I kind of use it more as a bronzer rather than a contour. And then just pop a bit of the highlight on the tops of the cheeks with the Charlotte Tilbury Powder and Sculpt Brush. Then to finish off the complexion, I do do a bit of a spray there's so many that I love. I really love the Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin one. That is amazing. But right now I've been using this. It is from Ren and it is their Flash Defense Anti-Pollution Mist. I just actually really like this as a setting spray. It doesn't really help your makeup stick around that much longer, but it just helps things look really fresh. 
and really hydrated on the skin. And as you know, I mean, I've said those words a million and one times already. That's what I'm really into right now. So that is my base drawer completely done. Everything in there shown or slash used. Now onto eyes. And I haven't actually got an eye primer at the moment. I really need to repurchase the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Really proud of myself for remembering that because it is the best one. I personally find it to be even more effective than the Urban Decay. But I am using a couple of eyeshadows at the moment, so I will talk you through before I decide what one I'm going to go for today. The first one is the MAC Pro Long Wear Paint Pot in the shade Groundwork. This is a very pretty pale muted brown terracotta -y shade. It doesn't look much in the pot, but actually just looks very natural on the lids. It just looks very kind of shadowy almost. If I want something a bit more dramatic on the lids, then I go for the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Betty. This is full on metallic, very bronze, but almost like a warm tone bronze. I do love my warm tones on the eyes and I find that it lasts really well. That's definitely more of a dramatic, more evening look. Something else that's a little bit darker for me right now is the NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadow in the shade Tan Lines. This is just a muted bronze, like a dirty bronze almost. It's very pretty. I love the name Tan Lines, it's so cute. And it's got that sort of slightly metallic sheen to it. And it's very natural on the lids, but you can build it up into more of a deeper color. I think I was wearing this in a video recently. Very much love that one. But my all time favorite, is it my all time favorite? I think it is. I've reached Pan and it is the Burberry Sheer Eyeshadow in the shade pale barley. I think this is what I'm going to go for today and it's what I've been going for most days. It's actually quite cool toned for me but it's just so pretty. It's a bit like MAC Patina. It's like a dirty, taupey grey with a bit of green in it, a bit of like purpley undertone. It's got a bit of everything thrown in. So there's not that much else in my eyeshadow slash general eye and eyebrow drawer. I'll talk you through the rest of the bit. I've got a MAC chromographic pencil in like a nude shade. I tend to use this if I'm looking really tired or really red in the eyes. I've also got another MAC eyeliner. I like my MAC eyeliners. This is the Modern Twist Kajal eyeliner in the shade Groundbreaker. This is a pretty bronze, just like dirty colour and it's really good to smudge but actually it lasts so well like once it's set down. But I'm not going to use that today. I think I'm just going to go in with these three products. So the first one is the It Cosmetics Tight Line Full Lash Length Black primer. So technically it's a lash primer but I personally just like using it as my mascara and the brush on it is minuscule. Like it's it's so 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 tiny but I find that the brush because it's so small you can really work it into your lash line and it just leaves a very natural look to your eyelashes. If you're into your eyelashes looking naturally full and fluttery and like you haven't got any mascara on then this is perfect. You could layer something over the top but I just like to leave it at that. And then for my brows, I've been going in with the Bobbi Brown Perfectly Defined Longwear Brow Pencil in the shade Grey. This is completely battered. I've lost <laughs> the lid for one of the ends, so I just use the spoolie that is just very unprotected at the moment. Then I just take the other end and lightly fill in my brows. I find that it works really well because it's grey. It just looks very natural through the brows. Then I just finish them off with a bit of the Blink Brow Bar Clear Brow Gel, which looks very, very grim. It just happens to all clear brow gels. Doesn't look very nice, but it keeps them in place and doesn't leave them looking flaky or like they've got anything in at all. Okay, on to the fun bit, the lip drawer. And I'm kind of having a moment with very nude things right now. There's not much colour going on here. There's a bit of pink, but that's about as exciting as it gets. But I'll talk you through before I show you what I'm going to use today. So, lip gloss. The Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. This one is in the shade 07. I've always got one of these in here. This is what I tend to reach for most days, really, because it's just very easy to use, easy to throw on, don't need a mirror, nice to have in the bag as well, because it kind of doubles up as a lip balm. Something else I've been going on about, in fact, these two, I think they're in my last monthly favorites. The Chanel Rouge Coco in the shade Adrienne. This is a nice brownie nude. It's kind of one of the browniest nudes that I've got but it's very pretty on the lips. It always makes me feel very like Parisian and chic whenever I wear that for some reason. And sometimes I pair it with this or sometimes I just wear each one on their own. This is the Monique Pop lip color in the shade Melon Pop. So this matches the blush that I was talking about earlier. How pretty is that? If you're a fan of things like MAC Jazz or MAC Car Caper back in the day, you will love this. This is the epitome of peachy pink. It is lovely, such a beautiful summer shade. I think what I'm going to go for today, I mentioned this one in a post recently. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 
in the new shade Live It Up. And although this looks like a crazy bright bubblegum pink, actually smushed into the lips it can look really natural and it's a very pretty way personally on me and my complexion this is a nice way of wearing pink, it doesn't look too intense. But I think what I'm going to reach for today is this one. This is again a Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips in the shade Super Cindy. And this is almost in between a nude and a peachy pink. It like sits somewhere in the middle. It's quite similar to Very Victoria, which I'm also a big fan of, but it just goes onto the lips so nicely. It's nice and matte, but also still very creamy and kind of a bit hydrating at the same time. So I just tend to pop that on and then smush it in with my fingers because I don't like lip color to look too strong on my lips. So that is the finished look. These are all products I've been using for like the last couple of weeks and I'm very much been enjoying using. As I said, very natural as always, you know me. Some new products in there, but some old ones as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I think on Wednesday, I'm gonna do an organizational style video. So let me know if you'd like to see that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye.